Prime Minister and National Security Minister Honorable Philip J. Pierre has taken decisive action to reduce the prevalence of violent crime on St. Lucia, to enhance the Royal St. Lucia Police Force's operational capacity and also improve and implement targeted crime reduction strategies Honorable Pierre has successfully engaged the Regional Security System, RSS, who has agreed to provide direct support to the island's chief security apparatus. Honorable Pierre, on June 30th, disclosed some of the details of his action plan to suppress crime and disrupt criminal activity during a joint news conference with Commissioner of Police, Milton Daisy. I've had discussions with the commissioner, he can tell you, he, he also spoke to the, the uh, commandant in the RSS and we are bringing RSS troops into St. Lucia to assist with, to assist the members of the Royal St. Lucia Police Service. They should be here sometime in July and it's a fact, yes, after consultation with the high command of the police force, we are. Um, causing some RSS officers to be in some motion. Yes, that's going to happen. The Prime Minister, with the support of the Cabinet and on the advice of the High Command of the Royal St. Lucia Police Force, has also actioned other key initiatives to further strengthen capacity in the police force. I am in the process of signing an, an agreement that will give the, the police service 40 new vehicles. The training vote that was stopped by the last government, the training vote that was stopped by the last government, the training vote that was stopped by the last government has been reinstated this year with $200,000. It, it could be more, but that's what we have now. We, we have started a swift justice program. We have put in $2 million in the budget to, to reduce on the backlog of cases that exist in the system. Commissioner of Police Milton Daisy explained a new gang investigation unit has been established to provide a targeted response to extract violent criminal perpetrators from communities and disrupt their activities. So we have to get the information as to how those firearms are coming in so that you could break it. Um, it is sometimes most likely that during the process, during that supply chain, whether it is a courier, um, whoever uh, customs uh, broke, the brokers, the, um, the shippers, somebody or more than one of those channel, there are corrupt practices in there. So we need to identify that. And once you could break one of those um, channels, then we believe we can, we can safely dismantle the, um, the guns. And um, one of the most crucial part of um, the anti gang unit is our FIA, the Financial Investigative um, Authority, where they would be going at the assets of those persons who are committing the crime because crime persons committing commit crime for profit and once you have going after the profit you have dismantled um, the gang they would not have the funding required and also the assistance that they get honorable Pierre and the cabinet of ministers remain committed to ensuring citizen safety and continues to employ strategies resources and initiatives to assist the Royal St. Lucia Police Force, as well as the judiciary. In June, the legislative arm of government introduced in Parliament proposed amendments to the Firearms Act that would increase monetary fines and also extend prison sentences for individuals convicted for gun-related offenses. From the Office of the Prime Minister, Rihanna Isidore.